what is my skin type? Like, but also, why does it matter? Does it matter? I would say skin type is like something you're dating, not married to. Don't box yourself in. Ladies and gentlemen, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Rose. And I'm Nahal. And this is Skin ID, where we break down overly complicated skin topics. So I get this question all the time. What is my skin type? But also, does it matter? It can change with the seasons. It can change with certain products that you use. It's definitely something fluid that we work with. But what we do want to think about is when we're choosing products. Yeah, how do you take care of the type of skin that you have for that particular week or month or year? And as you get older, your skin type can change as well. So there's five main skin types. You have normal, you have sensitive, dry, oily, and then combo. Most people, I feel like, have combo skin. I don't know about Definitely, because they're like, always like, I'm a little oily, but then I'm like super dry over here. Yeah. Like, which one am I? And I'm like, all of them. Yeah, so let's break these skin types down. There's normal skin, which is pretty self-explanatory. You don't really have any dry patches. You don't have really sensitive skin that turns red really easily. It doesn't sting, it doesn't burn. It's not super oily at the end of the day. For normal skin, you can just follow a very simple skincare routine. You know, a gentle cleanser, moisturizer, always sunscreen, and always, always, always make sure you're not using anything with comedogenic ingredients. <laughs> so another skin type is sensitive. Think about sensitive people and sensitive things. You need to be super gentle. Because it reacts to everything. Absolutely. <laughs> so be super gentle, use very gentle cleansers, hydrating moisturizer. You want to stay away from things that are going to irritate you like alcohol, harsh products, anything with like exfoliating beads. Those are always super harsh. So you want to keep things super gentle and, you know, be nice. To your be skin. nice to your skin. If your sensitive, sensitive skin. When you use exfoliants or anything that has, you know, it's kind of taking off that top layer, sensitive skin might not be able to handle that and it's gonna cause a lot of redness and irritation. One way to tell too, if your skin's too sensitive for a certain product is, does it burn when yes. you're using it? If it burns, listen to your skin. That's your skin literally screaming, stop. Please stop. Yeah. Another common skin type is dry skin. So this is the type of skin where you might wash your face and then within like three minutes, your skin feels so dry and it feels tight. tight. And it's shiny, not because it's oily, but because it's literally like stretched so thin across your face. You're like, oh my God, like can I even move? Products that you can use for dry skin, you can look for ingredients such as glycerin or hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is a great ingredient actually because it helps bind moisture under your skin. So definitely look out for that. Things to avoid, similar to sensitive skin, alcohol. On your face. On your face. We can go to happy hour door. Fragrance, anything that might contain like a salicylic acid in there or lactic acid, alpha hydroxy yes. acids in general. Super, yeah. Just listen to your skin. If a product is making you super dry and flaky, don't use it. Next we have oily skin. Can I just mention one thing about oily skin is like, people with oily skin tend to age really gracefully. Like, I it just smooths your wrinkles. And like, you and complain like, about it when you're younger, but then you're like, oh, I love oily it. Oily skin is gold, you guys. <laughs> oily skin is slick and shiny, and you might have some larger pores, which I get that question all the time, is like, why are my pores so big and visible? Is sometimes it's just part of your skin type. Wait, yeah. we should definitely do a pore video. That's my number one question. Like, would you guys be interested? Yes or no? Drop a comment, let us know if you'd be interested in a pore, like a big, a large pore. <laughs> large. So with oily skin, you since you're super oily, you're gonna wanna use lighter products. Your skin probably doesn't need that extra moisture. You might not even need a moisturizer. Listen to your skin. It already has a nice amount of oils to kind of keep things going. And some ingredients will help reduce the amount of sebum in your skin with like niacinamide or zinc. One of the most commonly used oils that I see oh in God. skin and hair, do you already know what I I'm know gonna what you're say? gonna say. One, two, three. Coconut, coconut oil! <laughs> I swear, you guys. People think coconut oil is just like the most amazing yeah. ingredient because it keeps things hydrated. It's like natural and like, from the coconut, yeah. So here's the thing. Coconut oil is probably the only oil we tell our patients not, not to use. use because it is one of the most poor clogging ingredients you can use and it's not gonna do your skin any no. favors. At the end of the day, you might be clogging your pores. The pores might even become more visible. You might get more oily because you're putting on that extra oil on your skin. Stay away from the coconut Don't oil. Don't use coconut oil. <laughs> okay, so we have combination skin. 
where you get a combo of things. So you might have an oily T-zone, but then other dry areas around your skin. With a combo skin type, what you wanna do is address the different parts of your skin. You may want to use like a heavier moisturizer for the dry parts, and then maybe not even use moisturizer for the oily parts or use a lighter one. If you have combo skin and you're wondering, how should I wash my face? Just use a light hydrating cleanser. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with that. Probably not oil-based because the oiliness can really, really exacerbate or make worse the oil. Use a gentle cleanser, see how you feel. And then when it comes to moisturizer, yeah, I definitely think you should use, like if you're feeling super dry somewhere, just put in those spots and then the oily spots, like let them live, let yeah. them be. With skin type and like trying different products, I would take it slow if you have no known allergies, of course, but you try something and just listen. Hey, did this feel good? Or am I still too oily? Or am I a little dry? Okay, let's pivot. Let's change it. Let's add something. Let's take it away. I still will always recommend a very simple skincare routine, but if you, you like using products, if sometimes. you like using multiple products and you want to, you know, add five things to your nighttime routine, start with one at a time, okay? Start with the base routine, which is going to be a cleanser and a moisturizer. And then if your skin tolerates that well, you can go ahead and add in maybe a glycolic acid to help yes. with smoothing out the skin mm -hmm. and getting rid of, you know, dead skin cells. Use that for a week. Use it for two weeks. If your skin doesn't feel any, like dry, if you don't feel any dryness or irritation with that, <laughs> add in, you know, a bunzel peroxide yeah, or it's salicylic like, it's acid. Like build or, upon it. Add, you could always add, but it's kind of hard once you get really irritated, you gotta, it's a, it's a big step back is what I would say. Yes. So you kind of want to like avoid those. So if we can, build upon it. Mm -hmm. So that wraps up just about everything you need to know about the five different skin types that we see. Again, you're not married to it. There you're might be, dating. you're just dating it. If you have any specific yes. skin type questions, go ahead and drop a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hit the bell below so you'll be alerted when a new video drops. Till next time.